Welcome back to h &S TV. I'm Katherine Clavana. We have a diverse lineup for you with new customer stories in the U.S. and abroad, the lowdown on company award winners, and news on corporate life. First in our lineup, High Tech Cinema, coming to a theater near you. Regal Cinemedia recently celebrated the completion of a directway broadband network to deliver pre-show promotions known as The 20 to over 400 Regal-owned movie theaters throughout the U.S. Tom Galley, CIO of Regal Cinemedia, spoke at the recent Executive Advisory Council meeting about the success of the directway network. But it's a multicast system that we use for the delivery of advertisements and pre-feature content shorts that play 20 minutes prior to a movie. If you've been in to see a movie um, in any of our 400 theaters or 5,000 locations at either Edwards, Hoyts, United Artists, or Regal Cinemas, then and watched what we call the 20, which is a 20-minute digital pre-feature program. That's what the folks in my group do. They uh, take it from post and creation all the way through uh, production and encoding, and of course, uh, thanks to our partners at Hughes Delivery, which I'm happy to say has an extremely high reliability. Emile Regard, H&S Vice President of North America Strategic Marketing, and Tim Tang, Senior Marketing Manager, give us a tour of the network. We're here at, in Arlington, Virginia at Regal Cinema, one of 20 cinemas that's using DirectWay. This is one of the newest applications of one of the most exciting customers that we have. It's a growing industry. We're making a lot of progress. We're going to show you all how it works. We're going to start right on the roof. Follow me. We're on the roof of the Regal Cinema where we've mounted the 0.74 meter dish on a non-penetrating mount. The satellite sends signal directly to that. It goes through those wires on the roof right down to the projection room where Tim is standing by and where we'll go next. A typical Regal theater will have about 10 auditoriums. Each one of the auditoriums is equipped with one of these content delivery servers. These servers are actually set up on a network LAN that is connected to our satellite indoor unit. So the video files, the movie trailers, they're multicast across our satellite infrastructure. And they land right here on the, on the hard drives of these content delivery servers. 15 minutes before the movie begins, these servers start playback of the video files through these Christie projectors. These projectors are very similar to the in-focus machines that we use for customer presentations. Only these projectors are good for the 14-foot, 20-foot movie screens that equip a typical Regal Auditorium. We also do live on disc and live on tape, which is a live broadcast at an uplink. We take it into Germantown, turn it around, multicast it across the network. So we, we leverage the bandwidth that we get from Hughes a lot. We push an awful lot of money over that bandwidth. The network reliability at Hughes, uh, independent from our terrestrial network, runs uh, four nines almost every single day of every single week. Uh, we hit five nines about once a month, um, and we hit just over three nines about once a month. So when we take that high reliability of the Hughes network, we interconnect it with the terrestrial network with asymmetrical um, diversity, we have an extremely solid network. UK-based Tesco Stores is demonstrating the power and appeal of satellite business television. The retail giant is using Hughes Directway to power a digital video network in each of its outlets to provide news and entertainment as well as targeted advertising at the point of purchase. The system provides seven different channels of programming with specialized content delivered to specific stores and to shopping areas throughout each store. Tesco is planning to expand their network to 300 locations in the UK. Now that we've seen Directway in action when we shop and go to movies, let's take a look at something closer to home. Pizza Hut customers across the Midwest can now say goodbye to waiting on the phone or at the pickup counter, thanks to a new customized ordering system via Directway. Border Foods, which owns about 80 Pizza Hut franchises in Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin, is using Directway to enable its stores to receive online orders, and it's delivering great results. Our own Mike Kaplan of H&S demonstrates how it works. Hi, honey. How about if I order some pizzas online and pick them up on the way home, okay? Great. Online customers can place their orders quickly and get the location and directions to the nearest store directly from the website. Since customers can view the entire menu, they tend to order more. Wow, look at this selection. Pay by credit card. And accepting credit results in larger orders and increased revenue. With fewer busy signals, 
phone-in customers can place their orders immediately. Personnel spend less time on the phone and more time servicing in-store customers. Online order for Kaplan? Thanks. So topping the menu of business solutions, DirectWay is the perfect selection. Part of the excitement is seeing the different ways that DirectWay broadband improves business. Let's take a look at another example. Keeping a large geographically dispersed workforce informed and trained is a challenge for any business. ASDA, Britain's leading UK value retailer and part of the Walmart family, is now keeping all 130,000 colleagues up to date with 24-7, an internal video network supported by the DirectWay satellite solution. Hi everyone, my name is Paul McKinley. I head up colleague communication based here in ASDA House. The intention of 24-7 TV is to simplify our communication and to really add some value in a video format to the way we communicate actions around the business. The interactive network enables ASDA to distribute corporate briefings and training sessions to 300 sites in the UK and lets colleagues give real-time feedback to management. So the company is saving money by eliminating hard copy materials and improving customer service at the same time. The intention of 24-7 TV isn't to have everyone in the store or depot watching videos all day. In fact, it's the opposite. It's to really help target information. So particular management teams, particular colleague teams or individuals will be sent briefings instead of other forms of communication to hopefully simplify their lives and to get messages across and actions across more effectively. We've all witnessed the devastation caused by hurricanes recently. The Florida Division of Emergency Management has been using a huge satellite network for many years to broadcast emergency information and maintain contact between its headquarters in Tallahassee with its field offices around the state. The network has proven time and again to be a reliable communications link when terrestrial networks in the area have been damaged or destroyed. Since the original deployment of 101 sites, the agency continues to expand its network and applications. Following Hurricane Charlie's devastating impact on the Punta Gorda, Florida area, the Charlotte County Airport remained open, thanks in part to the emergency installation of a directway terminal providing internet access. It was delivered and installed within 24 hours of their urgent request. And now to Africa to find out how HNS networks are being used for basic telephony services. Gabon Telecom has been using Hughes satellite telephony systems for the last 10 years to provide telephone service in underserved areas. Now HNS is providing a satellite network to link all 22 stations of the Trans-Gabonese railway system. Railway employees now have increased security and monitoring capabilities, as well as improved emergency communications. The Hughes satellite solution can provide simultaneous transmission to multiple stations. It's flexible and easy to install, and transmission costs are not sensitive to distance or number of sites. Gabon Telecom is looking to future applications, including a data network for electronic ticketing and improved customer service. From Africa to Europe, DirectWay is helping to improve both private enterprise and public services. Telecom Italia, Italy's leading information and communications company, along with Telespazio SPA, a major satellite service provider, have joined with h and Europe to launch a DirectWay broadband satellite service to public and private institutions across Italy. Enterprises can now immediately enjoy the competitive advantages offered by DirectWay's continent-wide broadband access. High-speed internet access is only the beginning of the services Telecom Italia offers. The quick and easy installation of h and terminals enables rapid expansion to meet increasing customer demand for other value-added applications, such as video conferencing, distance learning, and multicasting. Well, we've all heard of dinosaurs and dino rock, but who ever heard of a dino dig? h and Directway is being used to help Southwestern Adventist University and the Earth History Research Center to transmit email, digital photographs, and streaming webcam content from dinosaur excavation sites in eastern Wyoming. Well, before we had the Directway system, we had to hike into the surrounding hills to be able to make calls with our cell phones, and other than that, there was no communication with the outside world. We had computers there on site, uh, where we would store the data and make backups, but we couldn't actually do anything with the data until we got uh, back to campus in Texas. 
Using DirectWay, the far-flung scientific teams can stay connected and update the DinoDig website to share information with scientists around the world. What we did this year and last year was to find a Wi-Fi webcam we connected onto our wireless network to upload a picture to our website once every minute. Since we also had wireless networking out at the quarry site, we could show folks at home what it actually looks like to be excavating dinosaur bones. The system's inherent expandability and reliability has made DirectWay an indispensable part of DinoDig's communications infrastructure. The reliability of the DirectWay network has been fantastic, and we've been able to do things with this system that have just blown me away at times. Every year, Hughes invests time and expertise in working with the industry at large, as well as its own customer base. Here's an update on these efforts. H&S unveiled a comprehensive initiative at the Satellite 2004 conference to promote industry-wide adoption of the Internet Protocol over Satellite Standard, or IPOS, recently approved by the Telecommunications Industry Association. All our systems up to now have, been, uh, have used a proprietary air interface and proprietary technology. And similarly, our competitors have also done the same. Obviously, this led to systems that do not talk to each other, and it has made it difficult for developers and technology providers of applications because they were not sure that uh, the market was large enough that the application would work across all VSAT systems, etc. So we were never really able to make this industry get to the size that I think it eventually can. We're announcing today an IP over satellite standard called IPOS that HNS has worked very hard over the last six to 12 months to get uh, certified by the TIA as an open standard. Uh, this will be uh, the first standard that is optimized for broadband satellite use and the first standard that has been approved by the TIA for broadband satellite applications in the United States. The other major advantage of this standard is that we've already shipped over 300,000 terminals worldwide that uses this standard. It always helps to get the standard off to a big start when you have a significant customer community in both the residential and enterprise uh, uh, communities. Adoption of this standard will enable cost-effective development of advanced plug-and-play broadband applications via satellite. The 2004 Hughes User Group was a lively event this year, with 75 customers representing 42 companies from a variety of industries in attendance. The HUG's new format included interactive roundtable discussions on many topics, including space segment, new products, maintenance, and customer support. In addition, an executive panel Q&A session enabled attendees to submit questions to h &S senior management concerning issues important to HUG members. The tech fair and evening reception gave attendees opportunities to network and to participate in hands-on demos of technologies such as voice over IP, Wi-Fi access, the new multimedia appliance, and the VPN accelerator. The second annual Executive Advisory Council event, hosted by HNS, brought together Chief Information and Chief Technology Officers from 18 of Hughes's major customers for informal networking, peer discussions, and to hear presentations by industry experts. Jack in the Box CIO Stephanie Klein discussed the use of HNS broadband satellite solutions in the restaurant industry. Taking a look at why we uh, selected Hughes back in 2000, we looked at where we wanted to go over the next five years. Uh, we wanted credit and debit in our restaurants. Uh, we wanted computer-based training uh, to be used in our restaurants. We were looking at, at upgrading a lot of our applications to the Windows platforms. And uh, we, had, we wanted other things out there like online reference manuals. And you know, DSL and, and some of the telephone options at the time were not, were not viable and we selected Hughes in December of 2000 to be our partner uh, to create this wide area network. Our goal is to bring technology to the restaurants that's easy to use and helps them to do their job better and we consider Hughes an important partner for us. 
Bergevazian of the Yankee Group discussed the role of satellite in the future of networking. What we're seeing today is that the capabilities of today's VSAT networks are, on the one hand, uh, already fully supporting mission critical applications. And we see the future being built on extending the range of applications in the same enterprise locations and extending that beyond the large customers that have thousands of VSATs or hundreds of VSAT networks, uh, hundreds of VSAT locations, extending that down by size and type of customer to smaller customers, smaller locations, uh, which may in fact be individual users of broadband networking. A post-event survey showed that 100% of the respondents declared the event informative and useful to their future planning. And finally, more than 25 channel partners gathered to attend h &S's inaugural partner summit. The summit gave value-added resellers the opportunity to meet the h &S management team, learn more about h &S products and services, and also provide important feedback on the needs and demands of the small business market. David Kelly of G2 Satellite Solutions and h &S VAR spoke to us about the benefits of the partner summit to his business. We've been part of the Hughes family for a long time and uh, I think the Partner Summit was good because it gave me a little bit more insight as to how the company h &S, is wired internally. As an outsider trying to deal with it, sometimes it's, it's difficult to see the different parts of it that you're working with. And I think the Partner Summit has put faces in org structure in a, uh, in a manner that we could understand from a uh, standpoint of operations with them. Paul Latchford, Senior Director of Strategic Business Development, was on hand to comment on the opportunity for collaboration. The key points that we want taken out of this session is really that we are here as partners. Uh, the working together is, is critical in this environment. We want them to know where our product line is going, what new products are coming, and what we're doing for marketing to help this. Well, speaking of winners, let's take a look at our lineup of special awards. First, h &S Chairman and CEO Pradman Call was recently elected to the National Academy of Engineering. This prestigious 2,000-member organization provides engineering leadership and advice to the federal government and conducts independent studies to examine important topics in engineering and technology. PBI Media's Satellite Group, publishers of Satellite News and Via Satellite Magazines, honored h &S with awards during the Satellite News PR and Marketing Awards program. DirectWay Voice over IP and DirectWay Wi-Fi access products were both given awards for innovation, and the best radio advertising award was for the DirectWay government campaign. h &S's Next Generation Spaceway System earned the 2004 Pick Hit Award from Broadcast Engineering Magazine. The award, given during the National Association of Broadcasters Convention, is the longest running new product technology award granted in the industry. Hughes has once again garnered the Workplace Excellence Award from the Maryland Work-Life Alliance. Montgomery County Executive Doug Duncan was on hand to congratulate the winners. Work-Life is a great business strategy that supports the attraction and retention of a talented and diverse workforce and it encourages like-minded businesses to come into our community and that's a great combination. The Work Life Alliance and the employers that we honor today have helped to place Maryland in the forefront of communities pursuing the right balance between work and family. And I think we should all be proud of that direction. HNS is proud to have received the Maryland Work Life Alliance Workplace Excellence Award again in 2003. Um, so thank you very much. Don't forget to check the marketing place for the latest postings of HNS marketing resources. You'll find new literature, presentations, video clips, logos, and much more. Log on to marketingplace.hns.com or on the intranet under organizations. If you haven't seen the new HNS website, log on now. The site offers improved navigation, a fresh, clean look, and updated materials. Content is managed by the HNS business groups, specially trained on a new software platform from WebBridge, resulting in faster and more responsive updates. Check it out at www.hns.com. If you've walked through one of our lobbies at our Germantown headquarters lately, you've probably noticed the new large screen video displays showing a lively animated presentation. Each week, a team of HNS designers and writers produces a fresh program of the latest customer stories, employee announcements, HNS news items, amazing facts, the current weather, and real time stock quotes. 
visiting customers are welcomed and employees alerted to late-breaking events and important announcements. Be sure to stop by and check out this new communications tool. Keep an eye out for H&S at trade shows, seminars, and forums coming up around the world. Log on to the new H&S.com and select News and Events. We hope you've enjoyed this issue of H&S TV. As always, we welcome your comments and suggestions. Email us at h and at h Goodbye for now.